And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Analyzing the days of creation will open the eyes of the indigenous black people to understand their environment and their creator, as well as comprehending the most high's divine nature. By now, everyone should know there are many realms. There are many dimensions that are parallel to our world. The Most High created the lower things and the higher things from the invisible. The lower things consist of everything below the firmament. Darkness is the foundation to the lower things. According to the scriptures, below darkness there is nothing else. And I said, be open, arches, and let there be born from thee. And he came undone, and age came forth, very great and very dark, bearing the creation of all lower things. And I saw that it was good, and said to him, Go thou down below, and make thyself firm, and be for a foundation for the lower things. And it happened, and he went down and fixed himself, and became the foundation for the lower things. And below the darkness there is nothing else. When the invisible living creature Arches became visible and darkness came out of him, the Most High saw that darkness was good. Everything the Most High created, he saw that it was good. Today, darkness is stigmatized. The beast system labeled darkness as evil, while the Most High made darkness a symbol for the lower things. The earth is covered in darkness for 12 hours a day. The parallel realm to this earth, the deep, is covered in darkness as well. Many of us are led to believe the deep, the realm of the marine kingdom, is a part of the earth. The deep is its own realm. Although we can see the waters and the visible creatures that live in the waters when they come to the surface, we cannot see what is truly in the waters. If you ever stand on a pier or any platform that is over a body of water, darkness is covering the water preventing you from seeing what lies beneath. Unless you have a light to guide you in the waters, you cannot see the visible and the invisible creatures that lives in the waters. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. The deep is another realm that is a part of the lower things, which darkness is the foundation of. The lower things also include the Abyss, what is known as the bottomless, and Sheol. These places the Most High made as the lower things in his creation. Adam was supposed to be the ruler of the lower things. When he fell, Satan became the god of this world. The scripture says Satan is an evil spirit of the lower places. The devil is the evil spirit of the lower places. As a fugitive, he made Satona from the heavens as his name was Sentinel. Thus he became different from the angels, but his nature did not change. His intelligence as far as his understanding of righteous and sinful things. Above the firmament are the high things the Most High calls the heavens. Religion has conditioned many people to believe that heaven is one place. That is false. There are multiple heavens in the high places, just like there are many realms that are parallel to our world in the lower places. The book of Enoch spoke of ten heavenly realms. Each heaven has its purpose. 
The heavenly realm are the high places the Most High created above the firmament. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And I placed for myself a throne, and took my seat on it, and said to the light, Go thou up higher, and fix thyself high above the throne, and be a foundation to the highest things. And above the light there is nothing else. And then I bent up and looked up from my throne. Israelites, it is important for you to know that the Most High is the only creator. The Most High alone created all things below the firmament and above the firmament. The Most High created the invisible as well as the visible. The Most High is self-eternal. There is none like him and there is no one above him. I am self-eternal, not made with hands and without change. Give them the books of the handwriting, and they will read them and will know me for the creator of all things, and will understand how there is no other God but me. As the people of the Most High, it is important that you understand no one is equal to our creator. We live in a corrupt world where the synagogue of Satan is trying to enforce the hybrid creation from the fallen angels as a form of the Most High's creation. They altered the scriptures to make it appear as if the Most High created two sets of mankind, and that is false. Israelites, the synagogue of Satan had control over the narrative for a long time. While they had control, they added and take away from the Most High's words, as well as corrupt the world and distorted history to prevent you from knowing who you are, as well as the truth. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, it covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now that the Most High gave us back control through the awakening, we have to take hold of our destiny as well as our history. We cannot allow the workers of iniquity to tell our story as well as the origin to our creation. The time has come for us to stop believing the synagogue of Satan's mythologies about the Most High's creation. Yah has revealed the ins and outs of his creation to Enoch as well as many other prophets. The Most High told Enoch to write everything down. The scripture said Enoch has written hundreds of books. Enoch taught his sons as well as his people and his generation about the Most High before the Most High took him. And I bow down to the Lord and the Lord spoke to me, Enoch, beloved. All thou seest, all things that are standing finished, I tell to thee, even before the very beginning, all that I created from none being, and visible things from invisible. Hear, Enoch, and take in these my words, for not to my angels have I told my secret, and I have not told them their rise, nor my endless realm, nor have they understood my creating, which I tell thee today. And let them distribute the books of thy handwriting, children to children, generation to generation, nations to nations. The synagogue of Satan rely on the ancient writings of our ancestors to falsify history as well as to insert their abominable hybrid creatures into the Most High's creation. They also use these books to put the truth in our faces while making the truth appear to be a fairy tale. They hide the authentic books they found while robbing graves and plundering cities all over the world. The synagogue of Satan made available to the public the diluted version that is full of confusion. The people will engage in endless debates about the confusion in the scriptures. While the people are distracted with the meaningless debates, the synagogue of Satan continue to steal, kill, and destroy. I am glad the Most High placed his spirit in his people. We don't have to rely on the beast system or the workers of iniquity to find truth. The Holy Spirit will reveal the truth and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Enoch saw the Most High's face. He spoke with the Most High face to face. I believe the Most High took him because he saw the Most High. The Bible said you cannot see the Most High and live. Therefore, the Most High took Enoch after he taught his children about the Most High 
the origin of our people and the heavenly host, as well as sharing the knowledge gained by distributing the books he has written to preserve the truth. On the tenth heaven, Aravath, I saw the appearance of the Lord's face, like iron made to glow in fire, and brought out emitting sparks, and it burns. Thus I saw the Lord's face, but the Lord's face is ineffable, marvelous, and very awful, and very, very terrible. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. The Most High designed his creation in a way that no one else can take credit for his works. The Most High said to Enoch that he conceived to create a visible creation. The Most High created visible and invisible creatures. Satan and his angels are limited. They cannot create visible things from the invisible. If the fallen angels can create visible things from the invisible, that will make them equal to the Most High. We all know that the Most High has no equal. How can a creature that was created by the Most High be equal to his creator? Some people give Satan and his angels too much credit. Satan has no power. The Most High revealed this to us in his words. Satan can only do what the Most High permits. Satan thrive in the field of deception. But even the sun has peace in itself, while I found no peace, because I was creating all things, and I conceived the thought of placing foundations and of creating visible creation. Now his figure is hideous. He has become abominable among angels, and he has come to be called Satan. What then is his beauty that you should have followed him? And what have you gained by hearkening to him? See his evil works and then look at me, at me, your creator, and at the good deeds I do you. See, I bound him until you came and saw him and beheld his weakness that no power is left with him. The Most High showed as well as explained to Enoch his creation. Only the Most High can create visible things from the invisible. None of the Most High's creatures can create visible things from the invisible. What the fallen angels did was corrupt our world. The scriptures credit the fallen angels for corrupting all things. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be cast into the fire and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted and proclaim the healing of the earth that they may heal the plague and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. When the scripture said, let us make man in our image and likeness, the word us and our was strategically inserted into the scriptures to make it appear as if more than one entity created men. Also, the placement of these words make it appear as if there is two forms of creation. Remember, Satan does his best work through deception. He has created the doctrine of two forms of men was created through false interpretation of the word. Israelites, the Most High created everything. No other created being formed man in their image and likeness. The Most High created the first man, Adam, in his image. Adam is the first of our species. The people who proclaim there was another kind of a man that live on earth before Adam do not understand the scriptures and the spirit of the Most High is not with them. The Most High is the only inventor of his creation. The Most High is responsible for Adam and his seed. For I created all forces and there is none that resisteth me or that does not subject himself to me. For all subject themselves to my monarchy and labor for my sole rule. The Most High has been trying to save Adam and the righteous of Adam's seed since the fall until now. The seed of the fallen came after Adam. The watchers needed the daughters of man to create the hybrid species. I have countless messages and playlists talking about the seed of the fallen. Go and watch those videos. We've talked about what the Most High created on the first, second, and fifth day of creation. Let us continue to learn what else was created on the remaining days of creation. The Bible said the Most High created the earth and created the ecosystem on the third day. According to the book of Enoch, the earth was created on the second day. 
It was on the second day the Most High formed the rocks and called the rocks earth. It was also on the second day the Most High created the angels. And for all the heavenly troops, I imagine the image and essence of fire. And my eye looked at the very hard, firm rock. And from the gleam of my eyes, the lightning receives its wonderful nature, which is both fire and water and water and fire. And one does not put out the other, nor does the one dry up the other. Therefore, the lightning is brighter than the sun, softer than water and firmer than hard rock. And from the rock, I cut off a great fire. And from the fire, I created the orders of the incorporeal ten troops of angels. And their weapons are fiery and their raiment a burning flame. And I commanded that each one should stand in his order. Satan, whom the scriptures call Satan El, deceived himself and rebelled against the Most High. On the second day of creation, he was thrown down with his angels after the great war in heaven. The Bible confirmed the war as well as Satan being thrown down from the heavens to the lower things. And one from out the order of angels, having turned away with the order that was under him, conceived an impossible thought to place his throne higher than the clouds above the earth, that he might become equal in rank to my power. And I threw him out from the heights with his angels, and he was flying in the air continuously above the bottomless. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Satan and his angels were here before the Most High created Adam. Satan and his angels fell on the second day of creation. Adam was created on the sixth day. Nowhere in the scriptures did it mention any other form of man roaming the earth before Adam. From the second day until the fifth day, Satan and his angels were here. The marine kingdom, the deep, was created on the first day of creation. The Most High did not make any creatures to dwell in the waters until the fifth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Satan and his angels are not human, as well as the visible and invisible creatures of the marine kingdom. What other species of man was walking the earth before Adam? From the first day of creation until the fifth day, no man walked the earth. The second book of Astros confirmed this to be true. Upon the fourth day, thou commandest that the sun should shine and the moon give her light and the stars should be in order and gavest them a charge to do service unto men that was to be made. According to the second book of Astros, the Most High made the sun and the moon to service men on the fourth day of creation. According to the book of Astros, man was not yet created on the fourth day, nor does the book of Astros say any form of man was living on earth on the fourth day. The Bible and the second book of Enoch confirmed the sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day.
The book of Enoch give us a little more detail of the Most High's creation on the fourth day. The stars, as well as the other luminaries, were created on the fourth day. The Bible said the Most High created the plants, the grass, as well as the trees on the third day. The Bible also said the earth was created on the third day. The Bible does not say what day paradise was created. I find it interesting that paradise is where the Most High placed Adam and the earth became his home after the fall. The Bible failed to disclose when paradise, what we know as the Garden of Eden, was created when it gave us an account of what took place on the third day of creation. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, an herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Just like the Bible does not give us a detailed account about the first man and woman's journey and exclude this vital information from us, the Bible does not talk about the garden, Adam and Eve's first home, until the second chapter of the book of Genesis. This is why so many people are misled to believe there were two sets of men created by the Most High. According to the book of Enoch, paradise was created on the third day. On the third day, I commanded the earth to make grow great and fruitful trees and hills and seed to sow. And I planted paradise and enclosed it and placed as armed guardians, flaming angels. And thus I created renewal. The book of Enoch referred to the garden as paradise. The Most High created paradise, the garden, on the third day of creation, but did not create Adam until the sixth day. He did the same with the deep. He created the deep on the first day and the sea creatures on the fifth day. The Bible went on to tell us what the Most High created on the sixth day. All of the land animals were created on the sixth day. When it came to the creation of men, the Bible said, Let us make man in our image and likeness and give them dominion over the earth. The Bible made those two verses very vague and very controversial, leaving room for the people to fill in the blank with their wild imaginations. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat." And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. The people certainly allow Satan to deceive them with the two creation doctrine. I believe the synagogue of Satan did this to make the hybrid creatures of the fallen angels appear to be a creation of the Most High. That is the synagogue of Satan's explanation of the different races. 
Only if the people would understand there's no such thing as race. Many people believe the male and the female, the Most High gave dominion over the earth, were the first group of people the Most High created before Adam. Allegedly, the male and the female that was here before Adam in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 are the progenitor of the multiple race of people today. Despite the scriptures not confirming this information, nor does history support this narrative. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The people are looking for ways to explain the origin of the different race of people today. When the truth is spoken, they dismiss the truth. They rather believe the fairy tales because the tales make them feel good about themselves. The fairy tales of the synagogue of Satan proclaim we are all one and human, despite some of us having strange DNA. If we are all human and the same, there was no need for the Most High to make another creation. Saying to the people that the doctrine of two creation in Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2 is false is not enough. Some people need evidence to believe. The scripture said, Bless are those who believe without a sign. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. I rather let the word of the Most High show you in the scriptures of what is hidden in plain sight. That way the people of the Most High will learn how to interpret the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. Israelites, the scriptures are a combination of different writers or prophets giving their account of what they witness. In addition, a vision the Most High command them to write and preserve. Each writer will have their interpretation of what took place. However, each account will connect together to give us the complete story. That is why the scripture said with the testimony of two or three witnesses, a matter is established. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John give us an account of the same period of time by four different disciples. Each author is narrating their account of the events that took place when the Messiah came. Four different people telling the same story. The scripture also likes to reiterate a story and give us more detail about what took place. That is exactly what is happening in Genesis chapter 2. Some people believe Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 is the first creation of men and Genesis chapter 2 is another creation of men. Verse 4 of Genesis chapter 2 said, These are the days of the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. This verse is letting us know this is a recap of the past. Chapter 2 of the book of Genesis is not talking about a new creation, but the same creation. Please listen with an ear to hear. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. Verse 5 of Genesis chapter 2 said, The Most High did not allow the rain to come because there was not a man to till the ground. We have established that no man walked the earth until the sixth day. It was on the third day the Most High created the plants of the field and the trees. Verse 5 of chapter 2 is letting us know that there was no other creation of men. If they were, they would be able to take care of the plants and the trees the Most High created on the third day. Genesis chapter 2 verse 5 is letting us know there weren't any men to do the job. The chapter went on to explain how the Most High created the first man. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 failed to identify. Remember, chapter 1, verse 27 said, The Most High made man in his image. Chapter 2 of the book of Genesis revealed the man's name, 
how he was created and where he lived. The Bible calls paradise the Garden of Eden. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. If the Bible would have told you paradise was created on the third day, the same day the trees and the plants were created, the doctrine of the Most High creating two forms of people would not exist. Even if the people of the Most High do not search the other books that were removed from the scriptures to reveal this truth, the Holy Spirit would fill in the blank and let you know Genesis chapter 2 is giving you a recap about the creation of the Most High. For the indigenous black people who require evidence to believe, let us go deeper into the scriptures. The second book of Asher said, On the sixth day, the Most High created Adam. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth, that before thee it shall bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. The book of Asher went straight to the point and revealed who was created on the sixth day. The Bible said the Most High made the male and the female on the sixth day, making it appear as if he created Adam and Eve at the same time. Also, with the scribes translating the word to say male and female, it doesn't identify the male and female that was created on the sixth day. The second book of Asher revealed Adam is the man that was made in the image of the Most High on the sixth day. Asher went on to say from Adam came the human species. The female that was introduced to us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, she was identified in Genesis chapter 2 as the woman. After the fall, Adam changed her name from woman to Eve. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. The second book of Enoch confirmed that it was Adam that was created on the sixth day, not some strange group of people running around on earth with no purpose. The Most High wanted to create a visible creation. He created his visible creation from the invisible. From the invisible, he made all things visible, himself being invisible. As you have heard, the Most High is invisible. When the Most High created the man, the Most High wanted to make his invisible appearance become visible. He created Adam and made Adam his visible image by making him in the likeness of his own face. The Lord with his hands, having created man in the likeness of his own face, the Lord made him small and great. Adam is the visible image of the Most High. Just as the visible image to the invisible living creature, Adoyo, is light. The indigenous black people are the living, visible creatures the Most High made in his image and likeness, the blueprint to the human species. On the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create man from seven consistencies. One, his flesh from the earth. Two, his blood from the dew. Three, his eyes from the sun. Four, his bones from stone. 5. His intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and from cloud. 6. His veins and his hair from the grass of the earth. 7. His soul from the breath and from the wind. And I gave him seven natures, to the flesh hearing, the eyes for sight, to the soul smell, the veins for touch, the blood for taste, the bones for endurance, to the intelligence sweetness. I conceive a cunning saying to say, I created man from invisible and from visible nature. Of both are his death and life and image. He knows speech like some created things, small in greatness and again great in smallness. And I place him on earth, a second angel, honorable and great and glorious. And I appointed him as ruler to rule on earth and to have my wisdom. And there was none like him of earth of all my existing creatures. 
and I appointed him a name from the four component parts, from east, from west, from south, from north. And I appointed for him four special stars, and I called his name Adam, and showed him the two ways, the light and the darkness, and I told him, this is good and that bad, that I should learn whether he has love towards me or hatred, that it be clear which in his race love me. Israelites and indigenous black people, that is why you are hated. The hybrid creation know exactly who you are. They have been hiding your origin and the truth to rule over you. If you don't know who you are, you don't know your value and inheritance. The Most High made Adam to rule. Today, the indigenous black people don't control anything despite the Most High giving them dominion and creating the world for them. The hybrid creation has stolen the indigenous black people's inheritance. The same people who proclaim we are all one people. They are the same people oppressing the indigenous black people all over the world. If we are all one people, why are you afraid of the indigenous black people? Listen to me, my children, today. In those days, when the Lord came down onto earth for Adam's sake and visited all his creatures, which he created himself, after all these, he created Adam. And the Lord called all the beasts of the earth, all the reptiles and all the birds that soar in the air and brought them all before the face of our father, Adam. And Adam gave the names to all things living on earth and the Lord appointed him ruler over all and subjected to him all things under his hands, and made them dumb, and made them dull, that they be commended of men, and be in subjection and obedience to him. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. The man and woman the Most High created in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and gave them the earth for inheritance, in addition gave them dominion to rule, is Adam and Eve. There were no prior creation of men before Adam. The doctrine of two creations in the book of Genesis chapter 1 and 2 are false. Adam has life on earth. And I created a garden in Eden in the east that he should observe the testament and keep the command. I made the heavens open to him that he should see the angels singing the song of victory and the gloomless light. And he was continuously in paradise and the devil understood that I wanted to create another world because Adam was Lord on earth to rule and control it. The book of Enoch, the Bible, and the book of Asterisk confirm on the sixth day Adam was created. There are many other books confirming this truth as well. Adam is the only form of man the Most High created. Anything outside of Adam and Eve are hybrids. There are many hybrids among us. Adam's seed do not have strange DNA. The synagogue of Satan do not want us to associate the hybrid species with the abominable creation that took place in Genesis chapter 6. The hybrid creation from the fallen angels was destroyed with the flood. The Most High continued to destroy them throughout the generations. They are the only other form of man that walked this earth. They are the Nephilim giants, the seed of the fallen. That creation comes from the rebellious fallen angels and the sinners from the children of men. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. The other species of mankind know who they are. It's the indigenous black people, the seed of Adam, who don't know what they live among. They keep trying to give these people an identity. They are not Esau. They are not human. They are a form of a man, a hybrid creation. It takes four generations for the indigenous blood to be removed and that seed becomes spoiled. The indigenous black people are the blueprint to the human species. If there are multiple groups of people among us with no indigenous black people's DNA, what are they? The scripture said the nations conspired against you to cut you off from being a people. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. 
Israelites, the Most High is responsible for one form of creation. The other species of mankind is a hybrid creation from a combination of rebellious angels and sinful indigenous black people. Genesis chapter 1 is not talking about a prior species of man before Adam. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 is talking about Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 2 is continuing the story about the Most High's creation. Israelites, before you accept the doctrines of devils coming from the beast culture, ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment. The truth you are seeking is in the scriptures. Do not let Satan deceive you with his elaborate mythologies. Everything you want to know, the Most High will reveal it. Some have not because they ask not. The answers that you're seeking is within. Start interacting with the Holy Spirit so that you can know the truth and become free. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. But they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more.